Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Strid the Boss here, aka the King of Boston, and today we are back for I guess this, this is technically episode 45 of the Celtics My GM. I think it's episode 45, um, but this is just more of an update. I'm not going to be going into the offseason or anything. I just want to update you guys on where the series has been. I haven't posted it in probably like two weeks now. Um, the last episode, we just clinched the NBA championship or the finals or whatever against the Jazz in six games. Um, and I want to talk about if you guys want to continue seeing this series um, or if you want to kind of if you want me to start a new my GM. Um, and either way, uh, the reason I haven't posted this is because um, I talked about it in my channel update and I really um, would appreciate it if you guys watched my channel updates um, because I know those don't get viewed by everyone um, because I get comments of questions that are would have been easily answered in the channel updates um, just because that's you know when I make big changes on the channel I first express uh, kind of my thoughts on those changes and and kind of ask questions to the viewers in those channel updates um, so, uh, I would appreciate if you guys watch channel updates because if you had watched it, you would have known where the series has been the last couple of weeks. But either way, um, I'm not going to sit here and rant about it. Um, I just uh, wanted to take a couple, a little bit of a break from it. Um, what I really was planning on doing was actually finishing the Patriots Connected franchise before resuming any my GM stuff. Um, but I am getting fed up with Madden. Uh, I just don't enjoy playing that game much anymore, and I might kind of slow down on that, maybe post that series once in a while, but kind of, uh, slowly, I guess, uh, just, I don't know what the word would be, but just kind of slowly, um, you know, get to move away from that, so to say, on my channel. So, um, because of that, I'm gonna start posting my GM again soon, and what I really want to know is if you guys wanted me to continue this series or start a new my GM. Now, I'll kind of present the scenarios, um, of each, and so before you guys comment letting me know, um, kind of let me explain how both scenarios would kind of work um, if they were to happen. So the first one is I continue this, uh, my GM go into season four, try to defend the title, try to win back to back, whatever. Um, and it would be a little bit of a different uh, look on the team uh, just because I'd probably get rid of Roy Hibbert. He's been awful for us this year. Um, well, I wouldn't say awful, but he's just been kind of a disappointment. His contract's a little big. Uh, he's, only, he's still an 80 overall though, and he's only, he'll be 30 next year, so. He is movable, and I think someone would take him off our hands for uh, you know less money or whatever. Um, could just do a bit of a salary dump and then look at other free agent centers or look at other trades. We have plenty of trade assets, um, good young players, uh, kind of down here. I mean, not great ones, but we still have Jalil Okafor and Marcus Page, um, two of our biggest trade chips. Uh, and then I think we have, well, actually, I'm not sure what our pick uh, capital or draft capital is, but either way. Um, so. We would probably trade Hibbert, uh, Pierce would be gone, Allen would be gone, just I'm assuming they would retire, I would assume they'd retire going out on top or whatever, I, either way I probably wouldn't bring him back, it feels like a, it's kind of a one year thing to have those guys in the team. Uh, other than that, I don't think we have too many big expiring contracts, the core would come back I, I assume, um, unless you guys kind of want me to blow things up a little bit and just kind of reshape the team just for fun. Which I've done in the past in series, like after my Utah Jazz Association last year. And if you guys follow my MLB videos, I kind of did the same thing with the Marlins franchise in MLB 13 to show I won the title and then kind of switched things up, made the team uh, kind of just more fun for me. Um, it, and this is the option that I uh, kind of don't want to do just because it gets very stale playing with the same guys over and over again. I mean, I've been playing for Jared, so I've been playing with Jared Sollinger and Avery Bradley for three years now. Um, and it just gets stale after a while. I'm not sure if the videos get stale, but um, just playing the games, editing them, kind of commentating them, it does get a little bit stale, and I think a new look would be a little bit refreshing. Um, so I'll talk about that option. Uh, I would take over a team, just a normal team. I guess I can exit out. Uh, maybe I should take a look at the uh, rosters and see what kind of teams would be interesting to do. I wouldn't necessarily just choose a, like a bad team. Like I used to be all into like trying to pick the worst teams and like you know show these great rebuilding skills or whatever, but now I'm kind of more interested in taking over kind of uh, interesting rebuilding situations. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I don't think I have the uh, most updated rosters on me, but I can... I haven't, I haven't played this game in a couple weeks, so I forget all the menus, but this way. Um, we can go to roster. Uh, are these the updated rosters? Yeah, they are. Okay, so... Um, there are plenty of interesting rebuilding options, teams with, uh, I mean, I know this game doesn't reflect all the future assets uh, that teams have in terms of draft capital, but 
a uh, team like the Magic has some interesting uh, pieces for the future. A, a team that I think would be really interesting would be the uh, Spur, or not the, the Spur, the Suns, even though I guess having Eric Bledsoe on the team would be a little bit repetitive. Um, a team like the Timberwolves would be really interesting just because Kevin Love likely gone, um, and after that it's a team with nothing really. I mean, Rubio has been a really big disappointment. Uh, He's, you know, who knows if he'll ever be anything in the league at this point. He's one of the worst shooters of all time. Kevin Mor Kevin Martin's kind of on an albatross contract. He just doesn't play any defense. They have some, inter they have like an interesting young piece like Gorgie Dang, who really came out at the end of the year. Um, but other than that, nothing really too big to build around. Um, obviously, bringing in whatever I could with a Kevin Love trade would be pretty much what we build around. Uh, other than that, this gets into the all the. European teams and the classic ones, but so uh, that's option number two. What I would likely do is simulate the first season to kind of get it underway. Um, we would have the post trade deadline rosters, which would be fun, plus the draft class that or whatever I use would be a little bit more accurate just because we're kind of approaching that time. Um, when it does happen, so I'll have a little bit more accurate, uh, you know, draft class, like I said. Um, so I think. The, the both those kind of options would be interesting. You could switch it up and use a West a Western Conference team as well. It might be um, a good change. So that's what the option I would do, and I and I would probably <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I would probably make a separate video to uh, kind of have a team discussion, uh, like in terms of what team to use. But either way, um, those are just some kind of preliminary options that I threw out. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, I. Had, some pizza before this and my throat is a little uh, I guess spicy sort of but uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say so anyway um, yeah those are just some options that I like to present to you guys um, and yeah that's pretty much it so that's where the my GM videos have been in the last couple of weeks and that's uh, what my plan is going forward uh, so let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below I'm not gonna make a poll code or anything I'll just kind of go off of what the majority of the comment section says um, and like I said if I had it my way I would um, make a new my GM and just kind of switch things up a little bit but uh, I do also want to take into the into account the opinion of the viewers so like I said before go ahead and voice your opinion in the comment section below let me know what you want to see and that's pretty much going to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Thanks for being patient with this series. I appreciate it as always. And um, that's going to do it. So thanks for watching. And